of knowing that this, that this isn't home. You know, so, so in the midst of everything that's going on in our lives, things swirling with stress and everything, like, this isn't home. That's not for us just to, okay, now I'm just going to, you know, have like this hippie mentality of not worrying about anything. But it is to say that this isn't home. And, and, and watch what that, that, that does to the soul. Because, you know, ultimately what the soul craves is the lasting ultimate peace of which we ultimately will gain, gain in our homeland, but also that can be had here and now. You know, so, so contrast the, the image of, of he, Hebrews and the rest with our gospel and the image as I pointed out to the, to the um, second graders last night in the church. You know, it was dark at the time, so you really couldn't see the image, but our gospel is depicted in our stained glass window here. Very chaotic scene. What's craved? It's craved to hear him who, who speaks the words of rest and they couldn't even, like the, the doorway was jammed. You couldn't even hear him. You couldn't get in to see him because the heart craves to hear the peace. The heart craves the rest. Both body and soul. What's Jesus more interested in? The rest of the soul. That's why he says, What's easier to say, your sins are forgiven or pick up your mat and walk? Of course, it's easier to say, pick up your mat and walk. And so the authority to forgive sins, so there's a lot there with regards to the confession, but maybe just to, you know, to highlight the fact of there's no room there. There's barriers as those that are coming to seek out his rest. They're at the doorway. There's no way there's barriers. There's ultimately, though, there is a way. There was a way through the roof, but it's remembering even as, as it struck me as I was reading the Gospel Antiphon on the way over here, a great prophet has arisen in our midst, a God who visited his people. So as they're trying, as the chaotic scene right here, to try to get in, to hear the rest, to experience the rest, it's God always coming to us. He came to us and he comes to us today to give us peace of soul, to give us rest of soul, of which our heart craves. And so maybe the question for us to ask ourselves here in this Eucharist and in today, what's the roadblocks in my life? What's the barriers to entry to that rest as that door was just jam-packed, couldn't get in? What are the barriers, what are the resistance that are routinely in my heart that prevent me from getting that rest of soul, which I will ultimately experience to the nth degree in the homeland? but that's to, that Jesus wants for me and that can give me here and now. And so we turn to him now in the Eucharist, him who, satisf who, him who satisfies the soul. Let us turn to him now and say, and thank Jesus in this Eucharist, but to receive his nourishment and to receive that rest. <laughs>